Hello and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast and Reiki recap for a very interesting week. There's a lot going on guys. I know you know this, <laughs> but I feel like the energy is lightening up and the cards reflect that this week. So if you've been feeling a little under the pressure of the energy of the entire world right now, it is starting to lift and I hope that you can already feel that. I know I can already feel that. My empath senses start to tingle anytime something happens on a mass scale and uh, it affects my sleep, it affects headaches, it affects all kinds of things and throughout the weekend I could feel the energy slowly starting to lift. So I hope that you're feeling that as well. If you're not, gratitude is the best practice to bring yourself back to your center and back to that place of being open to the lifting of the energy because if you're still stuck in panic mode or heaviness mode, it might be that you're dealing with some internal anxiety that's happening and you're actually projecting it onto what's happening externally. So it's a really good week to shift your focus to the positive, uh, find some accounts that are posting the amazing things that are happening during this world's upheaval. Uh, Kristen Bell, the actress, is really good about posting in her stories the positive news stories that are happening in the world. And the more that you can seek those things out, the more that you can find that balance between the anxiety that we might be feeling now or even just the stress of being confined to our homes and not really knowing what's going to happen with gratitude and with the benefits of this practice of being able to come within. And I think that it's a really beautiful thing that's happening right now for the entire world where we're recognizing the benefits of selfishness versus community and how there can be a play between the two that works out for everyone involved. So I had said something very early on in the coronavirus journey that we've all been on about how it's interesting that I feel like hundred years ago, there wouldn't have been quite as much of an issue of people going out into public with this illness or with an illness. Like we push ourselves so hard in this modern world that it's all about that ego driven, getting out there getting stuff done and doing things for ourselves and making sure that we're taken care of, which there's a beautiful time and place for that. But when it comes to something of this scale and of this quality, we've learned the lesson that actually, no, sometimes pushing ourselves for, further forward than we need to go is not only being not of a benefit to our personal health and our physical body, but it's also not benefiting anyone that we interact with throughout that time period. And now it's like, oh no, not only was that bad for your body, but you were actually affecting everyone else around you as well. And, and I think that's an interesting shift that we haven't had to deal with in quite some time. And we're coming back to that feeling of that sense of community, but also by having the sense of community and not afflicting others with viruses or whatever we might be carrying around, whether it be physical or energetic stuff that we need to deal with on our own, we're also being forced to turn inward and we're being forced to spend some time with ourselves, which is also in the long run going to benefit us. So I feel the benefits of this coming and I think that we're gonna see it even more in the coming weeks. And again, the more that you can find that gratitude practice and you can look for the helpers and you can look for the positive shifts that are being made because of this, the things we're waking up to that need to be brought into more alignment, that is when you're gonna help relieve some of the anxiety and some of the pressure of the situation. And the cards this week are totally helping with that energy because our card for our energy this week is the Sun of Cups. So the Sun of Cups is a card of really playful creativity. And I feel like these cards are talking more on a micro scale than a macro scale. So yes, we have lots of stuff that's being ironed out in the macro and things are, are being figured out and that'll, those things will work themselves out. If you're following any astrologers right now, you're probably aware that like things are working themselves out, we just have to be patient. So the macro is not what we're focused on with this week's cards. It's what we are dealing with on our individual basis within our own homes because as we turn inward and spend more time away from masses of people, we are facing boredom that we haven't faced in quite some time. And, and it's interesting, it feels like a callback to 
almost school days when, well, I mean, I grew up in a small town, so maybe if you didn't grow up in a small town, you didn't face quite as much of this, but when you were in school and you were limited to the places that you were allowed to go or that you were able to go and you spent much more time at home and with your family, there was a lot more boredom happening. And maybe it's a generational thing because I also grew up just during the emergence of, of the internet and all of those things that gave us all the entertainment that we have now. But I also think that just being confined to your your home and your smaller space for a while, it the limitations create opportunities for creativity and playfulness. And I know in my very own apartment complex, I can hear that today. There's so many people with the windows open because I'm in LA, so we can do that at this time of year. And the people are singing and dancing and, and you can hear the old school playfulness that's coming up out of this forced isolation and boredom. So embrace that. The more that you can embrace that, the more you're going to create benefits from this self-quarantine and from this practice. It's going to be a process of rediscovering things that your inner child really wants you to discover and play with. And it's going to be really powerful, I promise. But you have to give the time and the space for that to happen and you have to allow for that boredom to unfold so that you can get creative. So that means not constantly scrolling through social media to figure out what's happening in the world. Bring your focus back inward to yourself. Again, by being selfish, we're helping the collective and by helping the collective, we're helping ourselves. So by staying in, you're helping those around you to not be at risk. You're helping to reduce the curve or flatten the curve as we keep saying, but you're also helping yourself if you can take the time to really sit with yourself and recognize what that self needs. Because the best thing I can tell you is the outside world is taking care of itself. So let that unfold and maybe check in occasionally to keep posted on what's going on, but don't let it be a constant focus of your day. Because if you can step away from that and if you can give yourself time to get a little bored, you're gonna discover parts of yourself that have been long lost and you're gonna have a lot of fun with those parts of yourself. So get playful, create things. Can you rearrange your furniture? Can you paint your walls? Can you read a book? Can you create a craft? Can you write a book? What can you do with what's within your space? How can you create a better world in that microcosm that you now find yourself in? And by doing that, you're shifting the energy of the entire world. And the more that we can all learn how to make our tiny little spaces more creative, more supportive, more playful, more lighthearted, the more we can bring that back out into the world whenever we're interacting with others. So the advice card that goes along with this card is just as joyful. It is the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is a card of just blessings and gratitude and playfulness and getting the things that you want and being surrounded by this creative energy that we've been talking about. The one thing that it does warn against, which is very fitting for all of our snack stocking that I know has been happening all, all across the board, try not to overindulge. Try to enjoy the pleasures in life without overindulging. So if you're one of those people that plowed through your snack stash within 24 hours of going to the grocery store. Uh, these are the lessons that we're learning. We're learning that we can have pleasurable things, but we don't have to have them all at once. And that it's actually more pleasurable if we can spread them out over time. And also recognizing that there's a balance to everything. You don't even want to eat all the snacks in your cabinet on the first night that you're in. You don't want to completely shut out the outside world, but you don't want to be on social media all day long checking on on what's going on. And the more that you can find the ebb and flow the two, between the two, and the more that you can keep your focus on the positive and on the gratitude for the things that you have surrounding you, the easier this thing's going to be, guys. And we're going to get through this all together and how fun is it to watch what everyone's doing on social media? So I encourage you as you create things, as you find ways to entertain yourself and your environment, share it with the outside world. Be one of those positive posts on social media. 
to be sort of a light in the darkness of someone that's scrolling through their feed or swiping through their stories and allow your story to be the one that brought them a little lighter, happier energy. If you need any help or support during this time period, I'm always here for you. I can give distance Reiki, I can give readings. I'm actually extending my six week coaching program sign up until the end of this week because I know that this past weekend and this past week has been crazy with everyone trying to figure out what's happening in the world. So if you were thinking about maybe signing up for my six week coaching program where we do past life readings, tarot readings, and Reiki every week, you now have another week to kind of mull that over. So until the 20th, Friday the 20th, you can sign up for my six week program. I have two spots left. So there were four open, there are two left. If you're interested, you can head to the website. If you need a payment plan, I wanna make this as accessible as possible for you. If you need to break it down in $20 payments, we will figure out how long that takes and we will make it work. So if you need support, it's out there. And if it's not from me, someone else is waiting to give it to you. So I hope that you have a blast finding ways to play in your environment this next week. And I look forward to seeing how everything unfolds for all of us in the coming weeks and months because things are getting better.